Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back. So, uh, today, well in this video anyway, I thought I'd show you um, how I've been using this Karen Dash watercolour palette. Well, palette, you don't have to... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to stop this video. Take 32. Yes, yeah, so, hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back. So, I thought I'd show you where I've been getting up to with this uh, Karen Dash water palette. Oh, God, look again, again, oh. Hello, I am Johnny, and welcome back. So, I got this Karen Dash palette, and you can use it with watercolours, uh, gouache, gouache, um, acrylics, but I wouldn't use acrylics on it, I'll just use my scabby palettes for that. So what I got it for is I want to get into watercolour pencils and I'll just show you. These are the Karen Dash. Bought these years ago and I only used them once and it put me off and I can't get into it. Because I didn't like the way, yeah. Uh, oh look, they look brand new. I did have two sets and sold one. Um, I didn't like the way you scribble it down on the paper and then wet it with a brush and it sort of left traces of the pencil. I much prefer um, putting it in a palette, but when I put it in a palette, I'll just show you with this green. Oh. Do I have to go in a bit? There. Can you see? You don't get much pigment onto the palette. I mean, even when you, like, wet your pencil. I find if you dip your pencil into the water, it disintegrates quicker. So I prefer to just scribble on here to get the colour down, but you don't get much. But with this um, Karen Dash palette, on this side it's smooth, and on this side it's coarse. So... You just do that. I mean, look at the pigment on that. Absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't wear the pencil down very much. Can you see? There. Right, so I've got some um, watercolour paper here. It's 300 GSM cold pressed. So I'll just get my paintbrush. Which one is that one? And then I just dab my paintbrush on the pigment that I've just got from the pencil. And look how vibrant that is. And I did, um, I'll get this. Yesterday when I done it, I done it with, I think it was red. Because I wanted to see how long that little scribble would last. And what did I do? It's not very good. I've just done a few uh, petals and that. But um, from this little dab of pigment here, I got all this paint. I mean, the ones I've done here, uh, the lighter ones, it was wet on wet. And this one I've done here, it was just uh, wet on dry. Yeah, so I was amazed by how long the paint goes. And then I've done this, um, oh, look, can I find it? Oh, there it is. I've just done a wash of two different colours of green. But that went too light. So, where's my paintbrush? Should really stick my thumb through there, but it's a bit awkward. Why well, is it was a sticky thumb anyway? Is it like that? I like that. But I wouldn't recommend that because inside here it's very sharp and I'm very clumsy, so I'd probably cut myself. Right. So there's the watercolour pigment and the paintbrush. And I've just done a wet on dry there. But I much prefer using watercolours. 
like this. I mean, I will try the again. This is what put me off this bit. I was probably too heavy handed. Do I need to go in? Hmm. I was probably too heavy handed when I didn't for the first time. But um, I just didn't like it. But, I mean, the colours are so vibrant and stuff, and I just want to. I'm going to give them another go. I just want my paintbrush. And I've searched high and low for me puck to go in the bottom of the jam jar and I can't find it. I thought I kept it with me, watercolour supplies, but I guess I didn't. Right, so... I mean, you can't see the... much of the... Um, where I've scribbled down. But uh, these are expensive Karen Dash, so you wouldn't really expect it. You'd expect it to um, disintegrate as soon as you applied the water. But while you're doing that, you're working the brush to dissolve the pencil. The colour's getting lighter and lighter, so I much prefer this technique. Would you call it that? This way to do it? So, that's with the Karen Dash. Oh. Put away. And I mean, it seems a shame to sell them without actually giving them a, a good go. Now, this is the Graffitint. Absolutely love these. So I'll try it out with that. And look, all the. I hope I don't break the um, point. Right, let's see. If I put it on the. You go direct, you're more liable to break the point. So if I go on the side, like that. What colour is this anyway? Cocoa. So it's a brownie colour. It looked a bit purple to me. Right. Paintbrush. Oh, and I suppose a bit of scribble in the palette as well. Yeah, see, not very good. And I tried in a plastic palette as well, and that was just the same. I'm not willing to wet the pencil and wear it down quicker. And this is that uh, mug I got on my holidays and I am going to use it to put my paintbrushes in. Right, wet this. See, if I'd heard about this Karen Dash palette when I first got the watercolour pencils, I might have been uh, really good at it by now, but as I say, it put me off doing it the other way. Right. Suppose I better try. Wet on wet as well. I always put too much water in when I do that. And I mean, there's not uh, much pigment there, but like you just to darken it up and do shade, you just wait till it dries and then apply some more over the top of it. Right, so that's the graphite tint. Karen Dash is the green and the graphite tint is the cocoa, the brown. Gorgeous. 
Right, next one, I thought I'd try the ink tins, Derwent ink tins. Oh, nearly knocked you over. Right, what colour should we go for? Red. And I was using the red yesterday and you can just see a hint of it here. But uh, I'm sure if I wash it thoroughly it'll take the stain out. There look, it doesn't wear the pencil down very much. Oh look I didn't put that arrow in. Over there you go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Very vibrant. But that's intense all over. Vibrant. Oh, yes, that's really, really nice. Yeah, so if I continue using my Karen Dash palette, I think I will enjoy using watercolour pencils. Oh, just put your on pause. 